Okay, guys. Now today's topic is fun and easy. I think um, you can leave class maybe in just fifteen minutes. <laughs> okay. The topic is heating curves. Okay. I think that maybe you know about them, like heating curves. Okay. Oh. Okay. Majority of you say no. Okay. Have you heard about graphs in math? Uh, thank you for sharing your opinion. Uh, should I show this? Uh, should I show these things to Mr. Billy, so they could see that how much you love math, huh? Okay. So heating curves. By the way, what are heating curves? Heating curves in simple, simply you can just say that it is a way where we tell, okay, how the things, so how things, okay, boy or melt, okay, or melt in numbers, you could say, in numbers or in language of graphs, okay, in numbers or in language of graphs. This is a simple way you could define it, okay, language of graphs, okay, graphs or curves, whatever you want to say it, but it's fine. Okay, so let's suppose over here as Matt was telling us that water, okay, so water have a melting point, what? Yes, do. Excellent job. Water have a melting point of zero Celsius and it have a boiling point of 100 Celsius, correct? Now, in or if I don't want to do this, okay, as you know, that scientists could not see us happy, so this makes things complicated, okay? So over here, what did they do? That they said, okay, please show us these things in a complicated way or in a graph way. So how we're going to do this, we will just make the way you make a y-axis and an x-axis okay on y-axis what will i do excellent job guys temperature okay and on x-axis i will put my time correct now as you know melting point means that a temperature at which water gonna starts to melt okay so water starts remember the word start it is not fully melted but it's gonna start boiling point is a point where it start to boil okay start to boil okay now here's the thing what we're gonna do as we know that melting point is zero celsius so this means if you put an ice cube on a stove okay so you have to keep that ice cube for over there for some exactly exactly you have to provide heat excellent job i love it i love i love to have your participation your participation in the class i don't know what happened <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do that you will put that let's suppose this is your stove okay and you put an ice cube on it you will put there and you will provide a heat correct exactly let's suppose that you started from you started from negative 25 celsius okay and you put it there and then when okay so there the water was the ice cube was there and nothing was happening okay so it is going as you know the temperature is going up so that's why my line is there now once once it reach once it reach zero celsius okay once it reach zero celsius what will happen that my eye is gonna start to melt okay so, oh sorry so my eye is gonna start to melt at this point at this point which is okay so at this point oh sorry okay so at this point at this point what will happen that Exactly, the ice is gonna start to melt, and the temperature will remain there until all the, uh, until all the ice melts. Okay, the straight line is showing that there is no change, but yes, all ice is going to be melted, but the time will pass by. Now, what will happen once all ice is melted, and again you don't then turn off the temperature? Exactly, you don't turn off your stove. So, what will happen? That the temperature will increase one increase what will happen what will you see exactly excellent job the steam gonna come out so this means the temperature is going up 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 and over here the evaporation gonna start okay evaporation gonna start okay so this is going up once it reach again here 100 celsius this point 100 celsius what will happen again it's gonna stay there so that the boiling all the water could boil up Correct. So this is the phase of boiling. This is the point where boiling starts. Okay. So again, it will stay there so that boiling could happen. Again, if you increase the temperature, boiling and evaporation, both of them will increase. Okay. So this is the case. Okay. Over here. So this is the point where what happens? The 
melting starts okay and over here the melting ends okay and over here the evaporation gonna start here boiling starts okay so this is this is if we represent if we represent melting points and boiling points in this way this is called as heating curves okay now what i want all of you to do is that as you yes mm -hmm. no no just do it in an easy way okay yes one thing more kindly don't draw straight lines okay because yes because Exactly. If you if you are attending a physics class, okay, with uh, Mr. Doc, th this 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 means exactly. This simply means that that you are changing the meaning of that thing. So kindly draw the lines like this. Just make it simple, okay? Because you are at initial level, so I don't want to complicate things. Okay. Now over here, so melting and boiling. This is the things. So if I say you to kindly draw right now, draw the graphs for the diamond. So how are you gonna start it? Please go ahead and send me the pictures so I can see. Okay. Now, the other thing is that there are presentation assignments for all the students. I have assigned the groups. Remember, if Zoo is going to answer in the class all the questions, all the students will get the score. If Zoo didn't answer, none of you will get the score. Okay. I know it's torturous, but I love it. Okay. Okay, guys, have a great day. I'm going to see you in the next class. Okay. Yes, I will be here. Please send at back. Yes, of course it was an easy topic, okay? Bye-bye. Have a great day.